shout out to Mighty Matt, uh, love him to bits and all the work that he does. Your vehicle wraps, your signs, your stickers, and your paint protection film as well. And Harvest Lane, Newbury in their new location. Graphics HQ.co.nz. And of course, it is um, uh, McDonald's Manawatu. And uh, well, a day to a Manawatu motocross round wouldn't be the same. Uh, yeah, we started for breakfast, we buy enough for our lunch as well, so uh, wouldn't have it any other way. They are absolutely awesome. Long time committed to supporting Manawatu Motocross. McDonald's, Palmerston North. And uh, we have our pet one, of course, on the corner of Rangatika and Featherston. And uh, whatever is your pet one in Palmy as well for you. Bit of a mistake in our program. Our Women's Grand Prix tomorrow actually sponsored by Alabaster Contracting. And not by Farmside, as was accidentally uh, listed there. So... Anyway, that's a little bit about our Sunday program. At the moment, it's the Turbo Sound a Junior Woman out on the racetrack this time. Thanks indeed to Anna, our long-time race director and that lady that's glued it all together, super former secretary of the club as well. Done an amazing job for so many years at uh, Woodville. Key people, lock it in place, know what goes on. Well done. All right, split start, split start. You heard it, all right? So we've got the... Uh, Bigger 250s and 125s away now. It's the 85s uh, with the 8 to 11s and the 12 to 16s. And I didn't quite see where we got to last time, but I think, I think, uh, I don't know whether it was Cody or Brianna, I think they've got the first pacing. So uh, anyway, we might get a better idea this time. But I'll tell you what, watch this lady, Hannah. There she goes, Hannah Paris. Good to see, good to see. Uh, 301 as well. India, India, all the way. India, Allison on the A. Allison Construction, supported C4 Energy, Nutrition Systems, uh, Bikes over. Good work from Indy, man to man. It's an honour to have somebody as good as her in the Manawatu region because we can certainly benchmark our national motor off how she rides. So uh, Hannah's a visitor from Whangarei, so we don't get to see it flips. I'm sure we will in April of this year at the AFC Motorcycles New Zealand Championship. But uh, during our normal moto, uh, Indy is uh, one of our superstars of Manawatu motocross. So good work, good work. There it is, the big one. And she's back, she's back and back on the 250. Oh, -ho! good news, Karaidiana. There she goes, remember of course, had a crash in the 250 race, went out of that uh, race, then came back in the women's and rode the uh, Gas Gas MC125, now she's come back out in this race and is back on her 250, and that's a positive sign, because she of course will be a star of our racing here tomorrow. Right, here we go, go girls, go girls, more of them out there, more of them having fun. I'll tell you what, when you got uh, Maddie, you got Ruby, you got Miley, you got Amelia, you got Georgie, you got Michaela, uh, it is incredible. And here's our lady, look at that from Bailey. Bailey uh, rocking through there, Bailey's got up, Bailey's gone past Indy. So Bailey up past Indy to move into that uh, second and third respect, at least. Still well and truly out front for uh, Hannah, Hannah Paris. This absolutely uh, freak of a lady who's uh, a flying uh, fortress. The first ever lady to uh, win an all-out 65cc uh, feature moto in New Zealand. So uh, beat all the guys in the lineup. A field of around 30 of them all up. It was the most incredible race. And I'll tell you what, heartened by a big crowd raw at the side of the track. Never forget that moto. Always love it when the underdog can come through. And uh, certainly it was uh, Hannah on the day that uh, proved to be the star. So uh, check her out, Hannah Paris. And uh, I talked before about riders at the end. You know, ladies, you might like to think, who's a name that I'm going to follow? Who's somebody that I want to see how they do in the sport? Well, lock and load that name here today, Hannah Paris. And uh, look for her to uh, show amazing improvement in moto. She's going places on two wheels, that's for sure. Here's your two Yamahas. Look at these two ladies, hey? Locked and loaded. Two one two fives are side by side as well. Nobody's giving a millimetre on that one. That is wicked to watch. Go, you girls. I think one of those was uh, Brianna. Looking for Brianna on the uh, uh, double one four through there as well. I think it was Brianna Rogers. So uh, keen to find out who the other one was. Uh, what was it, Michaela? I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll find out. Find out shortly. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. And uh, yes, it was Michaela. Michaela. Oh, and off the track. Off the track. Oh wow. I tell you what, she got the nudge, she got the nudge. Brianna knocked her right off the track. I was right in line to see that at the moment. And uh, Michaela didn't flinch, didn't give up. She went right off the track to go with it. You weren't going to, you know, sort of, as it were, come together. 
So she would then went and rode around the jump and came back in behind it. Didn't gain any advantage, but didn't get knocked off either. It was not intentional. Please just want to say that from Brianna. But, you know, it's when two racers come into contact and uh, rather than, than uh, create the contact, uh, Michaela was out to avoid it and completely detoured and went around the jump and carried on racing. So go you girls, go you champions. So uh, good work. Um, in fact, um, Brianna now out of uh, Morrinsville, formerly out of Tokoro, and with uh, Michaela just coming from Taupo, they were literally only 40 uh, minutes up the road from each other, so would have done a fair bit of racing against each other over the years, and to see them both now on uh, Yamahas like that is pretty impressive to watch a good bike battle going on. So look at, check it out, Brianna Rogers and Michaela Griffiths going for it, and some great ladies racing. Dave just updating me on the dramas that uh, Karaidiana had with her uh, a bent muffler on the bike, and uh, that was a carnage from her crash. You understand that that's been remedied. She's back out on the racetrack. So go you champion, uh, Miss Karaitiana Horn. Uh, oh, there it is, and the big jumps to go with it as well. 394, uh, Karaitiana in full flight now. There she goes. On that Kawasaki uh, White's Power Sport, uh, Bike Talk Tamaranui, Still Shop Hamilton uh, East Forest Service and Training, Godspeed Media Nutrition System, C4 Energy, Chase Works Suspension, uh, Power Parts Depot, Motor Muck and Mum and Dad, an incredible force for an incredible young lady, turned at 15 just this week, so now a fully fledged senior racer, and we'll see that for the first time as well here tomorrow, as she's deservedly been selected for our Oceania team and uh, that's going to be full of excitement here for tomorrow. On paper, the Aussies have come with a star-studded lineup. They will be a super hard team to beat, but I tell you what, a Kiwi on in, uh, our own track has got to be a strong force. So uh, how exciting are we about uh, tomorrow? The FIM Oceania Women's Challenge, New Zealand, Australia, right here tomorrow. Great photo, thanks to the FIM Oceania team. You'll find it on Facebook and uh, taken right in the heart of Palmerston North. Proud to be wearing their uh, Aussie uh, kit and uh, looked super professional and super experienced. Uh, looking to see those ladies uh, getting here today and having a bit of a look at this track and going, wow. Uh, we've heard about this place. Some of them have actually been here before, and that's another whole story we'll talk about uh, tomorrow. Bring it on with more uh, women in motocross, women in motorcycling, full stop. We love having on board. Tell you what, got to do a shout out. Our uh, Women's Commissioner, Sandra Perry. We've got uh, uh, three women on the board of Motorcycle New Zealand as well. So to uh, Gretchen, to Sophie, and to Avalon. You're an amazing woman committed to our sport to make it uh, go further. So we really thank you. They are three uh, dynamic ladies adding so much uh, point of difference in their own way uh, to our uh, uh, CGO as well, to uh, Gretchen, doing an awesome job trying to keep those boys under control. I don't know quite how she's getting away with that, but that's another story and a bit of fun. We've got to laugh about it. All right, there she goes, 394. Uh, Miss Karaidiana Horn, uh, a full-flying uh, motor ride for her in first place as we... Uh, Get to uh, check out the others. We're second. Here it is, big flying moto. And it is uh, Michaela. Michaela to get up there. Michaela and there's. Uh, oh, 27. Might be the 27. Might be Maddie. Might be Maddie. I think it is. I think it is. I think we're going to probably find. I think it's Maddie's got up. Maddie Burcott. I think Maddie's got up to take that next place. So well done to Maddie. She may be the one, the ringy or a lady on the uh, cluster MX 23 MX coaching. Holland's Collision Centre. Bob McCleary Yamaha. So look for uh, Maddie. Maddie Burcott. And Maddie to get up there now for uh, third place. Could be a change. We'll be keen to update. Where's Brianna? Where's Brianna in the race? Right, there's Michaela. There's Maddie. And here's Brianna. Brianna is right behind. And there she goes. Double one, four. Oh, wow. So remembering me almost coming together last time between Michaela and Brianna. Now, all of a sudden, it's Michaela that's got in front. She was behind before. And the other factor now, of course, is that Maddie's made her way in between Michaela and Brianna. So Brianna from going from second place back to fourth place in there at the moment. So uh, our Turbo Sound uh, Senior Woman, uh, sorry, my apologies, Junior Woman's uh, Field uh, rocking and rolling out here at the moment. I had a big bit of racing to uh, watch on this time. Hey, speaking about a big bit of racing, I want to do a shout out for uh, next weekend. I'm going completely in almost an opposite direction, but uh, our friends on the Tar Seal track, you know, I'm a motorcyclist, that's what I call myself. Love the motorcycle sport. 
in any shape and form. It's the classics, the classic road racing now. The thing we want to pump about next weekend is this event for a long time held at the famous uh, Pukekohe Park Raceway uh, south of Auckland. But the Pukekohe track is now no longer a motorsport uh, racing track. And that event has been shifted to be at Manfield, right on our doorstep at Manfield in Fielding next Saturday and Sunday. An unbelievable display. I would suggest, I'll go as far as to say, the greatest overall display of classic motorcycles ever presented at Manfield. It's all going to happen next weekend. So uh, do a shout out over there. Uh, Brad and Spider will be your uh, commentators and the uh, classic festival done under the Classic Racing Register will be a top event. And the Classic Register, by the way, voted the number one motorcycle club in New Zealand for 2023. So uh, they know how to organise a great event. And you'll see, of course, uh, the, uh, a great display in there as well of some other motorcycles. So it's not just about what you see on the track, it's about being off the track as well. So absolutely incredible. And uh, you can uh, find out all about it uh, at Manfield next weekend. Gotta love it. Using uh, local uh, clubs and other people to do the uh, manning of the uh, gates, etc. So uh, awesome to have uh, a big event coming to Manfield like that. Uh, so uh, next weekend, uh, a punt for our uh, classics at Mighty Manfield. Hey folks, we all like to make uh, you know jokes or comments about the weather, but I can tell you what the weather's actually been our saviour today. Why? Because it's kept the uh, cloud uh, here, and that cloud cover has been the secret today. Because uh, a, the track hasn't dried out. B, the riders haven't got too hot as well. Uh, we have some days here at over 30 degrees, and we've absolutely melted on some of those days, and that, that would have made a hell of a job here today. So, a pretty perfect kind of recipe. Yeah, the winds got up a little bit this afternoon, a bit of a pain in the you know, but uh, hey, there we are to have a, uh, a fine finale uh, for today. So uh, here we are. Hey, Keen with our uh, chicken flag to get out there now and we'll give an update of those uh, the riders, so we've got uh, Karadiana taking the win. Michaela from Brianna, who got up for the third in the end. What happened there? Ruby Lynch even got up a one more, and then uh, Maddie was a little bit further back. So Molly and uh, Talia, they will uh, take some of those other positions. I can spot uh, Isla in there. I see Isla's result, and I'm just trying to see. There's, um, in fact, Brianna is even is further back behind her. So just looking for uh, Cody. Where's Cody got in those results? And uh, that might be the uh, factor just to determine as to who's been our front runner in the 8 to 11 years class. And in fact, I, yeah, there's Cody further back, so I think Isla might have won that. I think Isla Nagel might have the uh, maximum points in that 8 to 11 years class. Go Isla, that'll be awesome. Another man or two star at a Rogatier, courtesy of mum, dad, uh, grandma, granddad, and city Honda. Gotta love it, Isla Nagel. Proud to